to observe insects, I went to my mom's backyard. That's because if you pull up a patch of grass, my mom's yard is covered in creamy, white, squirming grubs. If you look closely, you can see that the grubs have six legs, so we know they are hexapods. Specifically, these grubs are the larvae of Japanese beetles. They are native to East Asia, but are an invasive species throughout the U.S., primarily in the eastern half. The larvae feed on plant roots, often grasses, which can damage lawns. I also observed the larvae's behavior. When I first pulled up the grass, they immediately began to try to burrow back into the dirt. They moved their head and legs to squirm down deeper. I also took a larva out of the dirt to see what it would do. It curled up tight when being moved. Then, after a few seconds, it stretched out completely, moving its head and legs looking for soil. In terms of their physical appearance, when observing the larvae, I noticed they are mostly a creamy white color, but dark at the posterior end. The larvae also have a characteristic C shape they fold themselves into. If you look close enough, I was surprised to even see hairs on the larvae's backs. Since they are beetles, they go through a complete metamorphosis, or a holometabolous life cycle. The life stages are egg, larva, pupa, and adult. It's currently October, so the larvae are feeding and growing. Soon as it gets colder, the larvae will bury themselves deeper in the soil and hibernate. When the soil warms in spring, they will come up higher again. During the summer months, the larvae will pupate and emerge as adults, which will feed on plants above ground, such as on foliage, flowers, and fruits. Adults will mate and then lay eggs below ground starting in June through early fall. The eggs will hatch as larvae and begin the cycle again. When placed back on the soil, the larva urgently began to bury itself in the dirt. In the short time that I was observing this one grub, you can see that the other larvae had already almost completely reburied themselves.